Dear friends, greetings from Dr. T. Sindhil Murugan, Associate Professor and Head Department of Information Technology, Faculty and Staff Technology and Science, Varangal. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about Q data structure. In previous video lectures, we are discussed about what is stack and applications of stacks we are discussed. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about Q data structure. What is Q? How we can perform the linear Q? What are the operations on Q? And how to implement the Q using array? So these are the topics we are going to discuss in this video lecture. Dear students, this is week six, lecture two. We have to discuss about Q, TDT 17, Q introduction as well as array representation. The array representation of Q is CDT 18 topic. Both the topic we will cover in this video lecture. So before starting our lecture, we must be know about outcome of this lecture. What is outcome of this lecture? After completion of this lecture, student will be able to develop a C program to demonstrate the Q data structure with its operations using array. So what is Q? So before starting the data structure Q, we must be know that Q, where, wherever we are using the Q. Example, people moving on an escalator. So if a, who is step first, he will reach out in the top floor. Okay. So like that, people waiting for a bus, if they are standing in the queue, who is coming? The first person standing in the line will be the first one to the get into the bus. So same like that, wherever we are following the queue, example, uh, in ration shop or in somewhere, we want to follow the queue mean, for example, uh, voting booth, you will stand for you vote for the elections. There also we are following the queues. So example, luggage kept on the convey or built what happened, which bag, which was placed first, that will be come out first. Okay. For example, car lined at a toll bridge. What happened? So who is coming first? He will go out first. Okay. So these are the, some examples of Q. Okay. So same concept we will implement in the data structure also as a Q concept. Okay. <clears throat> So in the previous example, so what we see is that the elements at the first position is served first. Okay. So same is the case with Q data structure. The Q data structure is following F by F4 order. So first in, first out order. So previously stack we are discussed last in, first out order, LIFO order. Okay. First stack. But here Q is using before order, first in, first out order. So what is first in, first out? Who is come first? That will go first, okay? So example, escalator, bus, queue. So like that we seen, no, in the previous example, same. The elements in a queue are added at one end called the rear. So whenever we want to add any element in the queue, that will be added in the rear position, okay? So if you want to remove any element in the queue, if you want to remove any element in the queue, we have to use the one end is called like front end, okay? So for example, in data structure, this is the array. We will take this array, okay? So this is the queue. If example, this is the following queue. What happened? So in this array, we can insert the element here only. Okay, so this is the rear position. This is the front position. Okay, so initially we have to insert in rear position. So initially what is that rear also finding in the first location. Okay, so rear, it will be add, the rear finder will move forward this direction. Okay, so 
So if you want to remove any element, means we can remove from this direction. Okay, this is first in, first out order. So the queue we can implement using both array and the length list. But in this lecture, we are going to discuss about array representation of queue. So before starting the operations, we must be know all the operations on queue. So first one is the NQ operation. So normally we know that <coughs> array operation that is insert operation is there, no? So insert we can say in the queue is NQ, okay? So whenever we insert the element into the queue, we can say that the operation is NQ. The remove of the element from the queue is DQ. So that is delete operation, okay? So delete operation will represent that DQ. So peak operation or friend function, these two are represent the topmost element of the. So top is pointer we are discussed in the stack. But here we are using two pointer. One is friend and another one is the rear. So peak operation will reflect the friend operation. Rear position means the operation returns element at the rear end without removing it. Okay, it not remove or delete, but just to return the values. So what are the condition we are checking? We have to check the queue is full or not, and queue is empty or not. So when we have to check if full means we are unable to NQ. If it is empty means we are unable to DQ operation. So finally, size of the operation, it will return total number of elements it contains. Okay. So these are the basic operations on the queue. It's look like similar, but we have two pointer we are using here front pointer and rear pointer, okay? So as stated earlier, Q has front and rear variables that points to the position from where deletion and insertion can be done respectively, okay? So this is the front position. So this is the rear position, okay? So what is the size of the array? Size is 10, okay? So we can say that it is the maximum value is 10. So max minus 1 is 9. Array will be represented using 0, 10, minus 1. That is index value. Okay. So if we want to insert any element means where we have to insert, we can insert at the rear position. Okay. After 36, that next position we can insert. If you want to insert 45, that should be in the sixth position. Why? Because rear position only we are adding the value. So after adding the value, we have to write rear plus equal to one or rear plus plus we can write, okay? We want to remove the element means we can remove from the front position, okay? So we can remove from the front position. So if after deleting the element, it's look like this. The queue is look like this. We are removed the first element 12. So the remaining values are there. So what happened? Front value will be plus plus. Okay, friend is initially zero. It will find into friend plus plus. Okay. So whenever we are inserting the element, rear plus plus. Whenever we are deleting the element, friend plus plus. Okay. <clears throat> so in the figure one, initially friend equal to zero, rear equal to five. The position they are saying. If we want to insert the 45 element, what we have to do? We have to increment by one. So five should be six. In the sixth position, we can assign the values. The rear is pointing to 6. Simply we can assign the value into the 6. If you want to delete an element in the queue, what we have to do? We have to delete from the front position. <coughs> so this is a simple algorithm. So if you want to NQ operation, what we have to check? We have to check rear equal to maximum minus 1. So that means the entire queue is full. The entire array is full. Then we can print that overflow. Otherwise what we have to do? We have to, after printing it, it will come out. So otherwise, we have to check front equal to minus 1 and rear equal to minus 1. Both it is pointing to the minus 1 means it is initially set front equal to rear equal to 0. Then we can else, we can set 0. Then after that, else rear equal to rear plus 1. Okay, so that we have to check. Why? Because in the rear portion only, we are inserting the element. So rear value, we can set it into the one. Okay, so next, set queue 
half rear equal to number. Whatever number we are given, simply it will add it into the rear portion of the queue. Okay, this is a simple algorithm for insert element. For remove the element, what we have to check? We have to check it is empty or not. If it is empty means we are not able to perform the cooperation. So what we have to check? Rear is maximum minus one means that uh, queue is full. Okay, if otherwise it will be the you have to check under flow condition. What, uh, what is under flow condition? That is friend equal to minus one as well as rear equal to minus one. The initial condition, both it is pointing to the first location, there is no value. If there is no element means we are unable to dequeue the operation. So simply we can write, we have to check if it is overflow or not. If not, Q is empty, we have to check. If it is empty, we are unable to delete. It simply we will write underflow. Otherwise, we can write rear minus minus, not rear minus minus, friend plus plus. Okay. So what happened? Why we are using friend plus plus? Friend plus plus means the front side element will be removed. Okay. The value is stored in the queue, is the location printed in the rear. So what we have to check? We have to check friend equal to minus one or friend equal to greater than rear value. If it is there, it is under flow. Okay. So then what we have to do? If it is not there, means simply friend equal to friend plus one. This is delete operation. Okay. So these two conditions we have to use for delete operation. So now we will discuss about the program. So what are the operations are there? Insert the element and delete the element. So this is, we can say NQ, this one DQ operations. Seek operation will return friend function value where it is finding it. And display means the entire value, the entire uh, queue, it will be displayed. What it is there, what are the values are there, that will be displayed. So now we will give the options menu that if you are press 1, it will insert the element. If you are pressing 2, delete the element. If you are pressing 3, seek the element. If you are pressing 4, it will display. 5 means exit. So after getting the option, it will check. Accordingly, the option will be there. The first option means simply we are calling the insert of insert function. If pressing 2 means which we are calling the delete element function, after deleting that value will be returned here. If the values are minus 1, simply we can print the number deleted. Okay. Then simply if the given value is 3 means it is calling the peak function, it will return the value which is pointing to the S, the Q. Okay. So this is the main function after getting that we have to insert element or insert what we have to check initially which element we want to insert that we will take it okay so after taking this value we have to check rear value equal to max minus one why because rear is the one point to add the element into the queue if it is max minus one means the queue is full okay so you can try to overflow otherwise what we have to do we can change that we have to check minus one or rear also minus one if it is rear one we have to change it to the zero why because first value we have to add it otherwise rear plus plus we change the position okay so this is the q first we have to check rear position because rear only we are checking if rear is pointing to maximum minus one we can say it is overflow if not we have to check it is no values in the array a q or not if both are pointing here means minus one okay so both are representing minus one means no element in the queue that is the first element then rear value we can change it to zero the first location okay so if this condition also is not it is not overflow it is not empty then we have to somewhere it is pointing means then rear value we can write it is rear equal to rear plus one okay so that is rear plus plus so after changing the pointer simply in the queue of rear portion we can add the value which value we are getting it from the user okay so delete element delete element what we have to check so front equal to minus one so if any elements are there the front position is pointing to the front location okay in the front location equal to minus one means no element into the queue our rear value is greater than front value okay so rear pointer is pointing it so front pointer we are deleting here okay it will move here 
when we are deleting front finder is moving forward direction when we are removing the rear portion will be minus 1 so what we have to check if it is not crossed with this value okay so example we are deleted so rear finder is pointing to here only if both it is greater than that value we are unable to do that both conditions are under flow otherwise we can remove the topmost element front element of the queue that will be assigned to value because this value we are returning to that function after that front pointer is pointing to next location then we have to check front is greater than rear means simply we can print minus one otherwise return the original value so now peak operation you know that uh, return the queue of front portion where it is pointing to that the display functions it will start from the front pointer to rear pointer okay so simply we can print the entire queue so this is the main after choosing the operation it will perform it will ask the value it will be inserted like that it will show you can call one by one you can check the test cases so types of the queues the queue have multiple types like the circular queue deep queue priority queue multiple queue so these topics we will discuss in the further videos okay so now we are discussed what is queue what are the operations on queue how we can implement the queue so using a, a queue concept like uh, programs also we discussed okay so array representation of the queue we are used for that friend and uh, rear pointer we discussed what are the condition we have to check overflow and underflow those things we are checked and with that we are implemented the nq and dq with the algorithm after that we are written the program and explain step by step explanation for the operations on q okay so now we are end of this lecture so after discussion of those topics so you know that you have to do this lecture level practice problem so the following operation with the help of q and draw the q after each operation with the friend and rear pointer so uh, what we have to do first initially you can calculate what are the operations are there so initially insert operation one two three four elements we are insert after that is full or not you are checking if it is full means it will print it. stack is uh, queue is full or otherwise overflow you can check or uh, after that you have to perform dq operations two times then you can call the peak operation what is the front pointer is pointing it then dq operation two times then you can check it is empty or not if it is empty you can print empty or underflow then you can finally print the size of the queue okay so this operation we can perform so i hope you are enjoyed this entire video dear students having completed the discussion on introduction on queue and array representation of queue now students should be able to develop a c program to demonstrate the Q data structure with its operation using array. Okay. So if you have any doubt, please refer the chapter number 8.2 in Rima Tareja textbook, Array Representation of Queues. If you have further doubt, you just visit the weekly tutorial sheet as well as come with the doubt we will discuss in the classroom discussion. Thank you very much for uh, listening. Thank you all.